is based on a diary I kept when I was 18, which was 25 years ago. So I figure none of it's my fault anymore. <laughs> it was a witch that gave me the double concussion that made me start hearing songs in the first place. A couple years ago, this old witch drove her car into me as I raced to a summer job on my bike. She wasn't a bad witch necessarily, but she wasn't a good witch either. I remember her blank face over the steering wheel about to plow into me like she was on a mission. I pedaled as fast as I could, trying to escape her speeding Chevy, but I never made it to work that day. Instead, I flew up into the air. One minute, everything was like it usually is, and the next, I was flying. Flying through the air in vivid slow motion, thinking, so this is what this feels like. <laughs> As the pavement came toward me, time stopped abruptly. I hovered over the street. Tree branches blew in the breeze. I could smell cut grass. Somehow, I hung between flying up and falling down. A thought occurred. You're about to hit your head harder than you've ever hit it before. So maybe you should, you know, go limp. I did. As soon as I relaxed my muscles, time sped up and the ground jumped up in the air, crashing into my head. I slid down the street on my face for a while and flipped over. My neck snapped back and my legs twisted up underneath me. The witch and her Chevy were long gone. I tried to unfold myself. Lifting my left leg, I noticed there was no longer a foot at the end of it. Blood spread across the ground in a deep red puddle pouring into the sewer. I had never seen blood pour into a sewer before. It looks really cool. <laughs> then a woman appeared from nowhere and leaned over me. She was wearing mirrored sunglasses. What I saw on her glasses was bizarre. I had no face. The front of my head was hamburger and blood with two blue eyes staring out. Behind the woman's head in my monstrous reflection was a clear blue sky. When I turned away to look for my missing foot, the woman grabbed what used to be my face and turned it toward her. You were hit by a car! She spoke loudly and slowly, carefully articulating each word. You're going to be fine. I flashed on seventh grade health class, where they taught us what to do in case we ever came upon an accident. We learned to tie tourniquets and perform CPR, how to recognize the symptoms of shock, and what happens to the person in the back seat if you keep a crowbar on the dash. <laughs> <laughs> they also taught us how to talk to the victim. You speak loudly and slowly, carefully articulating each word. You tell them what's wrong, and then you tell them they're going to be fine. You have a crowbar through the middle of your skull. You're going to be fine. 